Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to be taking a first look at macOS 13 Ventura. Although the UI hasn't changed too much from macOS Monterey, there definitely has been some improvements in certain aspects. Let's begin. The first key feature of macOS Ventura we'll be checking out is System Settings, formerly known as System Preferences. As you can see, the UI has been completely redesigned compared to macOS 12.0 Monterey in a style that is very similar to the current iOS and iPadOS versions, such as with the new designated panel categories. Next up, we have improvements to Safari. You now have the ability to have shared tab groups, such as if you want to learn about various old retro Macs, or if you want to conduct research about a certain tech topic. In addition, you can use passkeys to sign into websites using your iPhone biometrics without the need for a password. How secure is that? Now here is the control center, which appears relatively unchanged compared to various reiterations, except there is a new feature called Stage Manager. With this feature, if you have too many different applications open and you want to focus on one specific app without having any distractions, Stage Manager is the program for you, as you can see right here. We also have a clock program, which is very similar to the original iOS counterpart, with options such as setting an alarm, using a stopwatch, and also using a timer. This is the updated mail program. One new feature with this program is if you accidentally sent an email, you have several seconds to now undo the sending, as you can see. Last but not least, we're going to take a brief look at iMessage. The biggest update with this program is now that you can edit or unsend messages that you didn't intend to send. So yes, that risky text you sent can be reversed. So that was a quick first look of macOS Ventura 13.0. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.